Hey kids, do you love your friends? And do you help them when they need it? I'm sure you do. Because you care for them. Today we're going to read a book called A House for Birdie by Stuart J. Murphy and illustrated by Edward Miller. A House for Birdie Poor tiny birdie had no house. When the rain fell, he got wet. When the wind blew, he was always cold. Peep! One day, birdie gathered his friends together. Caw, caw! Spike was tall, thin and narrow. Honk, honk! Queenie was tall, fat and wide. Squack, squack! Goldie was short, fat and wide. Chop, chop! And Fidget was short, thin and narrow. And that's our birdie. I need a house, peep birdie. Can you help me find one that's just the right size for me? Off they all flew to find a house for birdie. Caw, caw! Look, there's a nice house in that tree, caught Spike. It looks way too tall for me, peep Birdie. Birdie was right. It was tall, thin and narrow, just like Spike. It fits me better than my old house, caught Spike. I think I'll move in. Queenie, Goldie and Fidget followed Birdie as he flew on. Honk, honk! There's a pretty house on that pole, honked Queenie. It's much too fat and wide for me, peeped Birdie. They all looked at the house. Goldie tried to get in. Squack, squack, I can fit. I'm fat and wide. Honk, honk, no way, honked Queenie. You're much too short. It fits me the best and I could use a new house, I think I'll take it. Goldie, Fidget and Birdie kept going. Squack, squack, over there on the fence, squacked Goldie. There's a cute house. It's short like me, but it's very fat and wide, beat Birdie. Chub chub, I can fit, chub fidget. Squack squack, but it's much too fat and wide for you, squack Goldie. She climbed in and it was perfect for her. I think I'll stay, squacked Goldie. That left Fidget to help Birdie find a house. I'll never find a house that's just right for me. Beep birdie. Chop chop. Wait. Chop fidget. There's a lovely house on that limb. And it's very short and narrow. Well, it might work. Beep birdie, hopefully. Birdie tried it out. It may be short and narrow, but it's still too big for me, he peeped. Well, it's nice and thin too, chirped Fidget, just like me. There's no house that's the right size for me, peeped Birdie sadly. It started to rain, the wind began to blow, Birdie was wet and cold. Caw, caw, oh no, caught Spike, honk, honk. How awful, honked Queenie. Squack, squack, this is terrible, squacked Goldie. Chirp, chirp, we must do something, chirped Fidget. And they all flew over to help Birdie. So Spike gathered some twigs, Queenie picked some leaves, Goldie found some grass and Fidget Put it all together. 
Birdie was dry and warm. This house is tiny all around, peeped Birdie. It's just the right size for me. Peep, peep. I'm sure that's thank you. As you saw, the four birds never gave up to find a house for Birdie, like loving and caring friends would. Here you also learn a maths word called capacity. Capacity means how much something can hold. Like here, the birds' houses are filled to full capacity. So that's much each bird has a house for themselves, just the right size for them. That is capacity. Isn't that interesting? I'm sure you find this interesting. A new maths word, capacity. If you like this video, do hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.